Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Stellaris Let's Play. Uh, it has been a day, uh, I was working on other content, uh, but we are back now. Uh, last time we were working on getting our next colony out to this 23 size desert world. Uh, we're also working on transferring over these primitives to our other worlds, although right now they can just stay on uh, their primitive world and because I've stopped pop growth there, so I don't need to worry about um, overpopulation or anything like that. Um, we are producing 120 food, which has really helped us out. Uh, last time we were going into a bit of a food and energy deficit, which I can't handle at the same time. Uh, but now we should be able to uh, deal with our energy and sort that out while we have this bonus food. Um, because 24 pops is going to give us a ton of food, and we're going to be really, uh, I think we're going to be really set. Um, so I'm going to unpause the game, and we will get started. Um, so our hive worlds still have plenty of jobs available for... Uh, new pops to grow into, um, especially on our capital world where we built up the new alloy and research facilities. Um, so that's left behind a lot of tech drone jobs, a lot of mine drone jobs, and a lot of uh, agri drones as well. Um, I should prioritize tech drones once they grow, um, but I'll have to uh, just double check that and make sure that everything's going to plan. Uh, population is uh, quite a ways away from uh, growing up, so we have a little bit of time um, before we get our next pop. Um, versus on our re most recent colony where we're growing pretty fast. Um, even though we have that negative 30, um, our nutritional plenitude policy alone negates that. So that's one of the benefits of using uh, nutritional pl plenitude. It might cost you some uh, food resource, but at the end of the day, it's really going to help your pops grow a lot faster, which ultimately means more production from jobs, which means that you can counteract um, most problems you'll run into resource-wise. Uh, we've run into the Natraxi regime. Alright, that's interesting. They are authoritarian militarist uh, materialists. So they're probably going to be pretty good at combat. And they are relatively close. Although if we can get to this system right here, we, we'll be able to cut them off from our portion of the galaxy at the very least. So that might be a good place to build up here, because then they can't expand out through this way. Which might be very beneficial for us. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to start building mining stations. Uh, we do have the rubricator dig site, so we're going to start uh, do the start digging tree, obviously. Uh, we have that relic world, um, and I'm going to colonize that as well. Even though the dragon is on that, um, we're not going to awaken it until we have a fleet big enough to deal with it. So we can uh, just do it, do it like that. Uh, We'll have you come into this system afterwards. Once you're done, and you will build this mining station as well. That should help out quite a bit. We can sell some food. And we're good there. See how much... That, that's so much nicer, because now we can uh, switch off between which resource we're selling, and that will give it more time to regain value. Uh... I still want to declare war, so we need to be, keep building up our military fleets. I should have been reinforcing them, actually. I let it build up a little bit too much. Um, but we will be building... I think that's going to be, like, three ships? Two ships. All right, two ships is fine. We can deal with that pretty... Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, we're almost at our cap, but we have a total of 26. So for this fleet, we're at... You know, we're almost at our uh, cap for that planet, but not overall. Uh, oh, this is just the frontier sector. The frontier sector isn't actually a sector. It's just planets that don't have their own sector yet. So that that, 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 that always threw me off when, I, uh, when they introduced the new planet system, um, which they changed up quite a few times. So I feel like it's justified, but uh, that always threw me off early on. But I, I, I've come to recognize it now. So it's not as big of a problem. Uh, fleet's looking okay. I do want to get a general or an admiral in there at some point. But we do need to sort out our energy first. We can't go to war because we can't even make our uh, ships leave orbit. Because I think we just plunge into debt at this point. Uh, and I can't manage that at the moment. Um, I am going to prioritize tech drones as well at this point. I will take the hit to maintenance drones over, say, mining drones and agri drones at this point. Because our resource production is really high for both of those. Um, it shouldn't... We shouldn't be in debt for... Uh, minerals now, but it should help balance it out. I didn't want to do that 
a few episodes ago, but this should help a little bit now. Um, and I'll just have to remember to change it off later. And with that, we, we've halved our... We've only lost nine minerals, but we've halved our losses per month. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to sell a little bit more food. Leave that. Uh, this planet will be ready in 24, so four years. Uh, we got a lot of dig sites we got to go through. And we got the precursors. So we got a lot of stuff we need to do. Um, but we can we can deal with that as it comes up. Are you moving out? Oh, you're, you're not even doing anything. All right, well, you should definitely be surveying. You should definitely want to get that done. Uh, new technology, minerals for miners. So that's, the, that's just going to boost us up even more. makes it even better for us. Uh, coal guns would be nice, but carrier... We don't have the uh, ships even needed to have carriers yet. Even though I really like strike craft... Um, we don't, just don't have the uh, tools available to us right now. We really need to fix our empire sprawl too. That's another thing. Because we're getting that 120% multiplier right now. Uh, get that coil gun then. I think that that's what we're going to go for. I think it's probably best. Uh, keep playing. Sell some more food. And just a little bit of mineral. Uh, we will build up more ships. And we're looking okay. We're basically putting out ships as fast as we can at this point. Our energy isn't looking terrible. Um, although we could use some more at some point. Next month we'll uh, we'll build another generator district maybe. Uh, I think we're going to start building them here actually. Because this is our generator world so we'll get that nice bonus. We also have the weather that boosts that energy. Uh, output overall so we will build it as soon as it pops up because this pop is growing pretty fast so we should be okay on that front uh, unless we drop off some minerals somewhere okay I don't know where that really came from where that loss came from that is uh, but we'll, we'll deal with it we'll just wait a little longer uh, dig site event oh this is the um, chamber thing uh, so we get some metals and gemstones. Uh, okay. Alright, so we got a ton of rare resources. Um, volatile, volatile moats, exotic gases, rare crystals. So those are all pretty good for us to have gotten from that event chain. Uh, it's a little disappointing, because I'm pretty sure you probably get something else from it as well. I just don't know what. Um... But we'll we'll just it'll be okay. Uh, this dig site or whichever one is closest to, I guess. Three jumps, three jumps. Okay, well we'll just go with this one. Excavate the site, see what happens. I'm not even sure which one that is to be honest, but we just need to get them done. Uh, another ship is done. We will pump out another one. Yeah, and this is just really good because we're, we're shooting out food at this point. I'm going to try to save it up for when we go back into a food deficit. Um, just so we don't have to buy more of it next time. But we should be okay overall. Uh, in terms of resource production at this point. I don't think we're doing too bad. Uh, see, like, we, we just have so much open pop space here for pops to grow. I might just let some planets overgrow, actually. With the exception of maybe the generator world. Uh, just to get some extra jobs available. We'll start building that generator district because that pop is going to grow. Uh, society research, we boosted that. We are going to... Yeah, we're going to go subterranean. Because I think that's more common. Uh, and we aren't going to be colonizing any glacier planets. So it's kind of useless for us to take that tech. Uh, this planet is the... Yeah, that's the fringe one. It's losing us 10. But, uh, we're, it's getting us a ton of food, too. So, I can't really complain too much. Uh, okay. Primitive design. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, let's see. What do we, what do we need? Upkeep. Keep, upkeep. Okay. 
Alright, we're looking decent. We're looking decent, I'll say that. Uh, generator district is nearly built, and this pop is probably going to be grown relatively soon as well. Um, I will prioritize the generator district as soon as it's built, because we don't really need those amenities. And uh, it would be kind of detrimental if we had to deal with both of those. Alright, we need to sell some more of our minerals. Our food is looking okay. We can build a our last ship of this fleet. And then if we want to make another fleet, we're going to have to do that. But I think we should be about equivalent with these guys now. Yeah, we're, we're basically directly equivalent. So if we can get some better tech on our ships, we might not need to outnumber them with numbers per se. Uh, we could probably just sweep in with superior tech. Uh, but with that equivalent, there is a range that they can be in, so they're probably more powerful than me just given the difficulty level. Um, I can't really remember what I stood at. Uh, the beginning of this was a while ago. But uh, I'm pretty sure I stood it on the upper level difficulty. One of the upper level difficulties. So uh, we'll just have to deal with that. This construction ship has been doing nothing for a while now. You're going to build a mining station next month. As soon as we get the resources. So just move there for now. Uh, we can start selling our extra alloys, actually. We could do that, too. Uh, you are also done, but you have more... Or Actually, no, not really. We hop in here. You actually have a three planet, so we're going to prioritize building that first because you're closer. Close all that. And this is really a, a more extreme level of deficit that I've been taking on with this energy. Um, it's actually more severe than I've ever remembered having it. So it's kind of difficult to manage. Um, we're selling a lot of our stuff, but our minerals, like, we just knocked down how many minerals we were producing on our capital world. And uh, we're basically producing at a higher level than we were before. So it's, it's not all bad. Uh, we do have more jobs, population, prioritize those tech drone jobs. The negative amenities, it's not really going to do too much. The stability is pretty high as it is anyway. Uh, so I'm not overly concerned. The high amenities is going to go away. But we're going to have a base of 50 stability. So it's not the end of the world that we have negative one. Uh, and that's going to get us a lot of energy too. So I'm happy with it. I think it's good. Uh, let's see. You're almost done. So you can build the mining station now that you're in that system. We're going to get a lot more energy. I would really like the energy, or we do have the, actual, actually we do have the bonus, so I should, uh, we're actually good on that. I'll sell a little bit of that, but then sell a couple of the alloys. Uh, and our economy is very slowly stabilizing out. Um, if you aren't going into deficit at the beginning of games, I usually say that you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, because you have to have that initial energy loss to, um, basically grow your empire to the size that you need it to be to be competitive. Now, obviously, if you're doing a challenge where you're, you know, one planet or one system, uh, if you're doing those challenges, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but if you're playing it normally, I guess I should say, and you, even if you're playing a tall empire and you're just playing it normally, you still need to gather up the territory at least up to your cap. Um, because if you're not, you're going to be taking um, a lot of losses from other empires because you, you just won't be competitive uh let's see they have a fourth planet now i think they just colonized that world actually yeah because i think it used to just be a clear path through here until you got to this system so they definitely just started their next colony um but they are still equivalent so we have to strike before they get their economic power higher than us um, because if they have a higher economic power, they will be able to outproduce us in pretty much everything we do. Um, generator looking okay. And I'm almost confident enough to get another fleet going. But I think I'd rather just get an admiral, actually. I'd rather get an admiral right now. Uh, unyielding, ship hull points, weapon damage. That's pretty good. Uh ship weapons range. I do like that though. If we can start firing before they do. Yeah, I'd rather take I'd rather be firing for longer uh than earlier. And the range on these is pretty much all the same. 
we could go for more mass drivers and really outrange them, but that puts us at risk of being at a type disadvantage, um, because I don't know what type of ships they have and what, what kind of um, specs they're running. Uh, so yeah, I think we're doing okay. The Empire is doing well. We're basically out of our deficit stage. We'll probably be out of it next episode. Um, but with that, it is going to be the end of this episode, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, not too much really happened this episode. Um, I think we I showed a lot of balancing of the economy, and I th think that's probably going to be pretty useful some, for some of you guys. I have been getting some private messages um, asking about that. Um, and really, it just comes down to uh, balancing your resources out. And actually, uh, speaking of which, I mean, it's supposed to be the end of the episode, but we do find this arid world, which we will be able to colonize. Um, because that is our, our planet type. So we do have a planet within the system that we can choke hold off. So that's pretty nice, actually. It's a nice way to the end of the episode. Uh, but like, like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I'm glad you guys are enjoying. I've been getting a lot of positive comments about it. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.